Hello and welcome to another Black Desert Online tutorial and today we're going to be going over the basics of the marketplace and how you deal with that. So first things first, uh, the marketplace, to find it you'll have to go to a city like Velia or Heidel or whatever city you want to go to. And it, if you look at the icon above this guy's head, this NPC, so he's a marketplace director and he has a hammer and gavel, looks like a judge's hammer and gavel. On the minimap he'll look like a bag of coins with some coins sitting next to it. So if you walk up to him and interact with him, you should see this screen. You'll see, you know, the typical interaction screen and then this marketplace button. And then if you clicked on that marketplace marketplace button, you'll be able to um, see the marketplace window. And it's going to there's a lot of numbers. It seems kind of daunting, but I'll explain everything and get you through this. Uh, bottom left hand corner, you have your balance of what you're carrying with you. You have I have 53,000 coin on me. I have zero in storage. Uh, this little line thing, this orange line thing, is the current price of the item. This little stack of coins with a timer next to it, or uh, whatever it is, yeah, it looks like a timer, is the most recent trade for that price, for that uh, item. So, you see what the most recent purchase was and how much it currently is. Um, and then we have, I'm not sure if the most recent price is the most recent price posted or the most recent price purchased. So that's a good question. I don't know the answer to it yet. Uh, highest, this is the highest price for that item. This is the lowest price for that item. So you can see how much people are selling everything for. Total trades tells you how many pe how many uh, things have traded for that amount. And then registered shows you how many items are being sold of that. So up at the top you see we have chicken meat. We'll go through this together. We have chicken meat here. Uh, the lowest price for chicken meat that we can find on the auction house is 175. The highest is 339. The most, uh, the current price uh, average for the uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the current price of the item is 188, and the most recent price um, is 175. There's been 1,903 that have been purchased from the auction house or the marketplace, and there are currently 3,469 pieces of chicken meat that are sitting on the marketplace that are ready to be purchased. So there's that. And we have filters on the left, so if we want to filter it by a specific class, if it's class specific, we can do that. I want to only want to see stuff that a tamer can use, and all this stuff a tamer can use, so it really doesn't filter anything. Uh, we can search for the item's name if we have a specific item in mind. We can also sort by name, so you can see I can sort by A through Z, or Z through A. Uh, we can also sort by most recent price. See, this one is 750,000 silver at its highest price and there are two that have been sold with 20 on the market. We can also go the opposite direction and show the cheapest item. Um, the cheapest, excuse me, the cheapest most recent price. This is cheap, it's the most recent trade price for this item is zero apparently, which is interesting. It just means that no one has bought, has bought any of these yet. And so there's no trade. So, so this is the, the most recent price is the uh, last purchased price of that item. We can also show item quantity. We can see that there's tons of chicken meat on the and cooking honey on the marketplace. We can see there's not a whole lot of, um, is that the right button? Yes, there's only one fox meat. There's only two raccoon meat. So a lot of people buy fox meat. 506 have been purchased, but only one is on the auction house. So there's a lot of demand for fox meat, apparently. So that's something that you could, if you like to run the marketplace like I do on some games, you can take advantage of things like that. Look, the last little wolf piece of wolf meat, uh, fox meat, disappeared. Um, next we have sort by average exchange price, so the average of the exchange price. We can sort that and see what's the most expensive item, what's the cheapest item. Looks like salt goes for basically almost nothing. So there you go. And then we have most recent registration. So um, you see what's the most recent thing that's entered the market. Looks like that's the most in, uh, recent thing that's entered the market. I guess. It's kind of hard to tell. It's hard to tell which one is which. Like which one's most recent, which one is least recent. Or recent. I'm guessing that this is most recent because there's only one bear meat and that bear meat would not be sitting on the auction house very long. So there's that. There's also along the top. These are only general goods that we've been looking at. We can look at other goods like gore, gemstones, plants, seeds and fruit, hides, seafood, main weapons, secondary weapons, defense gear, 
accessories, black stones, crystals. We can look at potions and elixir. We can look at cooking. We can look at dyes. There's no dyes posted apparently. We can look at housing. Different different things we can um, basically decorate our house with. And then mounts and pets. So we can see foods for for pet uh, for horses. We can see lumps of raw sugar for attracting horses. We can see emblems so we can get donkeys if we would like to. All kinds of stuff on here. You can't actually buy horses though. I think these are this is just for things for mounts and pets. It's not for purchasing mounts or pets. So there we go. And so how do we post on here? Well, this is the marketplace right here. We can go to my registered. You see I'm selling. I've currently, I had two thing, things posted. I have sold them. I can now collect the money. So when I collect the money, I'll receive, I guess this is the amount I'll receive. Sell price, yeah, that's how much it's sold for. You say remaining price. So if somebody buys a partial amount, you'll only get a, you'll, you'll have some still remaining on the list. You got an expiration date of six days, one hour. Registration count one. I sold 22 here of, of these are weeds. And then it shows the price that I sold them at. Collect. You will now, you'll get 20% if a value pack uh, buff is active. Are you sure you wanna collect now? So we don't have value pack buffs, so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. And just take those. There we go. We can register more items. You can say, I want to sell this copper ore uh, right click, right click. There we go. Can't. I thought I could click and drag, but you can only right click. Uh, thirty items that uh, can be registered, so you can't register more than thirty. And then we have the max price, the min price. We have the highest registration price, the lowest registration price. We have the uh, accumulated trades. So how many thing? How many of these have been bought? How many are currently posted? Ten silver coins are required to register an item. The marketplace commission of fifty percent, uh, thirty percent, a local tax of five percent will be applied. You will get 20% if a value pack buff is active. So by using the marketplace, we're going to lose a percentage to commission and local tax. So I can say unit price 142. That's the max price I'm allowed to post, I guess. Never actually tried to raise it higher. So I don't know if I can. Let me see. You need to verify the price per unit first. So I guess I can't raise it above that price. And then after that, I can confirm it. And then register it. Oh wait, I got maybe I can confirm it this way. Da -da 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 -da. Confirm. Yes, total price 190. So I can raise it higher. Um, so we can freak the auction house out if we want to. Let's see what happens if we say nine 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 nine. Confirm. Nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Register. The price can only be set between minimum and maximum price. So that prevents people from from doing crazy things and jacking up the uh, auction house. So I'll set mine at the max price and go ahead and see how that works. And then notifications. This is a notification to let you know if there are any uh, purchases that have been made to your marketplace or if you've bought anything, etc., etc., etc. So that is the marketplace in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions about the marketplace and I can answer them, I will do so. Comment below. Check out my other tutorial videos for this game. Let me know what you think of it. And uh, feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And finally, remember. Keep it clean.